On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumna, Dr. Mary Thompson, to address convocation. Mr. Chancellor, President Chakma, members of the graduating class, families and friends. I'm deeply grateful to receive this honor from Western University. I have quite a number of connections with Western. One of my sons studied here and we attended his convocation in this very place. Uh, the faculty in statistical and actuarial sciences are my colleagues and friends. And I can tell you that some of the best statistical science in the country and some of the most interesting collaborations between statisticians and other disciplines take place here at Western. Well, my congratulations too to the graduating class. Today you are celebrating the fruits of all your efforts and you've been here for what seems to you to be a long time now. When you look back in the years to come, it will seem an amazingly short time. But if you think back now to when you first arrived, you will see that you are emerging a different person. You've seen a lot more of the world and life, and I believe your eyes have been opened. As a pre-boomer myself, I'm conscious that Things are, are somewhat tougher for your generation starting out than they were for mine. Um, as you look to the future, if there is some uncertainty, uh, I hope you remember that Canada and the rest of the world are full of, of needs and, and that society has indeed a vested interest in your success, in your life goals. It seems fitting that I'm uh, invited to this particular convocation because as Professor Bellhouse implied, I've always been interested in the application of statistics to science and to social science. I work mainly in survey methodology, the basis of official statistics and of health surveys like the International Tobacco Control Project and, and social surveys like the Canadian General Social Survey. I'm also interested, uh, especially recently, in the phenomena and analysis of social networks. This is a truly interdisciplinary field that crosses so social psychology, sociology, computer science, statistics, mathematics. So as you may be aware, a social network is simply a collection of individuals or organizations that potentially have links to each other. For example, as members of the graduating class of 2016, you are each linked with some others by the interactions you've had in courses and sports, leisure activities, and of course, friendship. So in a network of people, each one may be connected to directly only to a few others, but we can construct paths between people by tracing the success of links. You may have heard of the concept of degree of separation. Um, the degree of separation between person A and person B would be the number of links in the shortest path from A to B. So there's a popular theory, and some would call it an academic urban myth, uh, a theory that was originally put forward in 1929, that if being linked means just being acquainted, then the degree of separation between any two individuals in the world would be at most six. So this six degrees of separation assertion rests on a fairly simplistic mathematical model. But some empirical studies have shown that if we said that the average degree of separation was about six, 
we wouldn't be very far off the mark. So this revelation that our world is small, or alternatively, that our neighborhoods are vast. This theory can help us explain uh, many social phenomena, I think. So good data on networks of any size used to be very rare. But now in the era of big data, especially on ele electronic communications, they are much more available. So there, there have been developed search algorithms to explore large networks and compute degrees of separation between any pair of individuals. For example, at some point in 2010, there were around 100 million Twitter users. So if we consider two users to be linked, if one follows the other on Twitter, some authors constructed an algorithm that estimated from sampling Twitter user profiles that if you choose two Twitter users at random, and you do this again and again indefinitely, their degree of separation on average would be 3.43 links. So this fact is of, not of, of much interest in itself. I, I'm sure that now in 2016, the number is actually quite a bit smaller. But it does illustrate the immense power that we now have from the existence of big data. And perhaps, of course, the implications for privacy that we can or can't expect in this day and age, a very interesting area for research. As we all become more and more tuned to the internet, the numbers of our friendship or significant acquaintanceship links increases. And this increase, not only, does it, not only does it make our world smaller, but also, as theorized by the Canadian-American sociologist Barry Wellman, it's changing the nature of community. It's interesting that he and his colleagues have found that heavy use of the internet is not necessarily associated with social isolation, as we might think. In fact, he asserts that the internet aided by a listserv is not just a means of long distance communication, but a vehicle for enhancing neighborhood and civic involvement. My own family has personally experienced this uh, since we joined the list of our own neighborhood association uh, our lives have changed. The number of neighbors we know has increased about six-fold, and our communication as a group with councillors and city staff and so on is constant and ongoing. This is very exciting, though it's somewhat overwhelming to the pre-boomer psyche. So some final words uh, from a statistician. We have entered an era where there's an increasing ability to quantify all kinds of phenomena almost in real time. Human rights abuses, the adoption of new products, the ebb and flow of public opinion, and perhaps to gain new insights thereby to solve the great challenges of our times. So whether you are a data gatherer, an analyzer, or a user, and whether your insights are quantitative or qualitative. This is something that will affect your work and your lives. Well, my best wishes to all of you graduates as you uh, navigate this new world of opportunity. Thank you.